Hey, Sally Franz here, and I'm here to talk to you about smoky eyes. There's a young woman who has the hottest YouTube video right now, and it's all about how to make smoky eyes with makeup. She's not over 50. She doesn't wake up with smoky eyes. Eyes that are actually from a fire sale. It is disgusting, but you wake up with these dark, dark circles and bags if you're over 50. Some of your blood vessels are broken. It's a charmer. So, for those of you who want the smoky eye look and you're over 50, I'm going to show you how to get it by getting rid of most of that smoky look. One of the first things you're going to want is whiteout pencil. Whiteout pencil is fun. You go like this, okay? And it's actually just your foundation color. And it just takes back your skin to your actual foundation color, if you match it, and leaves the darkest part there, the part that's probably all puffy from having baggy eyes. Now, why do we have baggy eyes after the age of 50? Because we've spent about the last 20 or 30 years staying up every night worrying about our children. If we had just had perfect children, we could have avoided this look. I don't think that's so hard. I have perfect grandchildren. I should have been able to figure out how to have perfect children, but no. So I put on the stick. Now, what about the upper lids? See how that gets looking like your grandmother? Yeah, so you want to kind of pull that back and reclaim that with color that matches your regular skin tone. You just kind of leave dark spots and broken vessels where they are if they're near the eyelash line. But otherwise, you just color like this. And maybe you want to use a little foundation and you want to um, just dab it on to bring that color back and I would just use it everywhere you can, um, as much as you can, and then you just, you know, pat that in like that to get your regular color, leaving the little bit of smoky bits. Okay then, so I've left a little smoky down here and up here, and I'm kind of cleaning back and getting my regular color back. That's very nice, and um, what I might want to do is get a lighter shade powder and just kind of highlight the eyebrows then and maybe a little off the nose and just keep blending all of that so that I don't look quite so decimated and old. Now, as I'm working on restoring the rest of my skin tone and just leaving the smoky, I want to pay attention to my lips, don't I? Yeah, because even though my baggy baggy eyes are, 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 are going to be keep bagging and of course that's my fault, too much gossip just going like this all my life, shouldn't have listened to all that gossip, shouldn't have had imperfect kids. Now I have to worry about my lips. Now some of you are thinking, I'll just do what the young kids do. I'll just throw on a little gloss. Don't do it. And I'll tell you why. You have an upper lip situation. We call it the barcode. If you leaned over in the grocery store, it would ring up to a hundred, maybe two hundred dollars worth of essential minerals maybe $1.98. Anyway, what you want to do to take care of those lines that are going up past your nose is to take more of that foundation and completely cover your lips with foundation like that. The color of the rest of your skin. There you go. That's right. And then over that you might want to put a little powder to set that foundation like that. And then you want a nice red or whatever color you choose pencil and you're gonna draw your lips like Lucille Ball did. Uh, uh huh, right and over. And under like that. And you're going to color that in. Right? Pick a line, any line, and just color that. That's right. And you don't even need collagen now because you can just do these huge lips with the pencil. Alright. Mm hmm. And you smooth that out with color and Lady Gaga look out. There you go. So, a little uneven, but I can just take my pencil. See, that's the joy of it. I don't have to worry about collagen. I just like that. There you go. Uh, I go uh, way down below and I have fabulous looking lips. I have wonderful smoky eyes, and as long as it doesn't rain, I'm good to go. Thanks.